Good morning and happy Easter. Today we're going to be surprising the grandparents. We're going to change the wheel cylinders on their 1968 Mustang. It's a 289 auto car. Two barrel. At least it's a V8 up front. This thing's in really good condition. They had it repainted. Bit of a Mako paint job. Not the best quality, but hey. It gets the job done and this thing is pretty solid. I don't know if this thing's moved since the wife and I got married three years ago. But it's pretty clean inside, a little tear. But the rest is lovely. They don't drive this thing much anymore. They used to daily drive it to work back in the day on country roads to oil and gas plants, which is hilarious. But yeah, let's get going here. Tear this thing apart, surprise them before they get back from church. Here we are, wheels off. Being the farmer he is, these were leaking and he just took them off a couple times, honed them, put new seals in, and they just keep leaking. So we just bought all brand new ones, we're gonna throw them in there. So your typical brake drum setup, right? I'm not gonna pretend to be an expert on brake drums, but. We need to allow these brake shoes to expand. In order to do that, we need to remove this spring here and this spring here. Once those springs are removed, we can remove this spring here and everything can push outwards. Clear as mud, perfect. I've already sprayed some WD-40 on there because it's gonna need it. Solid brake lines, a little, sco little spooky. Um, but yeah, we'll pop that line off, pop those two bolts out, then wheel cylinders should come right out. Okay, there's that new cylinder in. Took a little messing around to get these springs back on. I actually punched myself in the face one time doing this one. But that's all right. And like I said, I'm no mechanic, no expert on these drum brakes, but uh, just take your time, take some pictures, make sure you know where all the bits go and you'll be all right. You can tell that this one is the suspect one. You can see the hardware has the rust scratched off it because grandpa's been taking it off and trying to hone it and but there's just like a little film everywhere of oil still leaking still leaking still grubby it's all just piled up down there that's okay we'll have this apart in a jiffy okay back to the trusty teaching picture as soon as you have everything back together that new wheel cylinders put in to adjust these brakes you have to turn this little spinny guy here to tighten the brake shoes outwards until you have just a small amount of drag against the drums. When you can hear it just barely scratching as you're turning that brake drum, that's pretty much perfect. Wheels are back on, fired it up. Sounds good. A little bit of a lifter tick over here. That'll probably work itself out though. Just let it get up to operating temperature. It was a pretty quiet motor before. Let that old gas work its way through. The brakes are bled, the brakes are adjusted. Got it done in under two hours. Not bad. Just take your time and you'll be okay. Thanks for watching guys, see you next Tuesday.